I'm in on Rochita. Six months after the campfire, there are organizations still out here reuniting cats with their owners. We followed along Field Haven Feline Center as they set up traps. A neighborhood's wiped of what once stood. This area was hit hard and fast in the fire. Cindy Rosenberry is showing us so beauty overlooked the above the surface. Life is sometimes coming back. Every day, Rosenberry goes out rebuilding her neighborhood through hope. Still six months yeah. later, we're getting a lot of reunions. She is trapping cats. Many of them went missing after the campfire. We call it smackerel. <laughs> Yeah, the cats can't resist it, so we've got mackerel. There is an art to the chase. It's always a game. It's always a game. Outsmarting them. But it's smell that really does the trick. So with like my traps, I try to put, um, I wipe them down in pheromones to, to make them smell better. When the cats are caught, they come back here to home base to get checked. And one of the first things we do is we're going to scan them for microchip. They've rescued more than 500 cats since the campfire. More than 130 cats have been reunited so far, some because they were microchipped. So they moved to St. Louis and wow. assuming that Dexter died in the house, Dexter somehow managed to get out of the house. Oh, and without that microchip, that never that reunion would have never happened. Volunteers and employees have been living in this trailer and working almost around the clock for months. We don't spend that much time in the RV. It's no, you know, we really just go sleeping. we go in there to sleep. What drives them are the reunions. These people have lost so much. They've lost pretty much everything and if we can just help them give them back one small thing, which is not a small thing, but you know, their cat or help them get their cat back. That's what is important. It's their way of rebuilding paradise. This is my home and I want to see it grow. I want to see it come back. I don't want to look at it as constantly as how sad for poor paradise.